this, this shoe. Uh oh, oh, um, oh god, Jesus, uh, no, um, um, no, I was just not smelling a shoe. Okay, yeah, I was. Yo, what is going on, guys? Nobody here, and today I am bringing you a brand new video. And first things first, I just want to thank you guys so much uh, for my Psycho RC response. I actually got a bunch of great feedback on that yesterday, and uh, I was actually really, really pleased with uh, you know how my response actually turned out, and uh, you know just overall the you know the feedback that I got. And I actually got several Psycho members that actually started subscribe or well. I actually had several sub, and I also had several psycho guys uh, subscribe to me, so that was actually really cool. That actually kind of made my day, and uh, I thought that was awesome, you know. Uh, Psycho's a really respected team, and if I was to actually, you know, be able to get into that team, I think I would, I, I would literally crap my pants. Words would not be able to express how excited and, you know, just how grateful I would be, you know, for that opportunity of, you know, if I win and I get in, I get in. But if I don't, you know, it's not the end of the world, honestly. Uh, but today I actually have a story to tell you guys, and this actually goes back to my first grade days. And I think some of you guys are actually going to find this pretty funny, so let me just kind of give you a backstory on what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, basically, right now in uh, English class, I'm actually reading The Life of... Pi, and uh, for those of you that don't know that book, it's actually a very popular book. Uh, that I believe there's a movie about it. Uh, but you know me, I'm generally you know one to enjoy uh, pieces of you know classic literature and whatever. Uh, so we've actually been reading that for the past uh, two weeks, and actually there's you know mentions about a zoo and stuff, uh, and it's it actually made and kind of brought back memories of you know a particular thing that actually happened back when I was in first grade. So way back in first grade, we actually took a class trip uh, to the zoo in my city. And, uh, granted, you know, our zoo kind of sucks here, it's not very big, it's not the best. Ironically, because this is the tap, you know, the capital of Texas, uh, so basically we went into the zoo, obviously, and, uh, it was a lot of fun. I remember, I do, do remember this trip in particular because of this particular moment that it was actually, like, just freaking hilarious that happened. So, you know, back when you were a little kid like that, you know, all of, you know, everybody's little favorite animal was basically those big giant cats, you know, tigers and lions. Uh, unfortunately, I believe, actually, I do believe there was a tiger there at, uh, this zoo, uh, I'm not really too sure, there might have been, but I do know there's a lion, and that was the, you know, the main animal that everybody, you know, all these freaking first graders that are little kids that want to be entertained, that's basically what we wanted to see, and you know, me being that, you know, genius little developed freaking smart freaking first grader, you know, I wanted to freaking roar at the lion, so I did, so we walked up to the little place, and I just started growling, I was like, roar, roar. And I, like, these freaking lions are probably just like, Really, nigga? It's pretty funny, and eventually, you know, all my classmates, you know, started basically kind of joining in, and all of a sudden, all these freaking lions just run to the edge of the cage and just start, like, growling at us, you know, roaring at us. It was pretty intense, because, you know, I mean, I'm a first grader back in, you know, keep that in mind. And, uh, you know, when you have a big freaking 800-pound cat, like, yelling at you, like, less than five feet away from you, that is going to be a memory that you're going to remember, and it's kind of going to be a little bit of a frightening, you know, memory. It wasn't frightening to me, because I knew I was protected, obviously, by the fence, uh, but, you know, those fences are proven to not be very, you know, reliable in some cases, so. so that was kind of always, you know, something that was kind of in the back of your head, but, you know, as a first grader, you're not really thinking, oh, I probably shouldn't growl at these lions, because, you know, there's a chance I'm going to make them mad or something. That kid just had to kill me, like, really? He chased me down for a large, oh my god, that kid's, he wants my head. Oh my god. Oh, I hit! I freaking hit! Let's go! Oh! 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 Oh, baby! Oh, oh my god! Oh, that was. That was oh, that dang, was dude, let's go! Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching that video. Be sure to leave a like for that shot. I didn't even expect to hit that. I was hoping that I was gonna hit a shot, but you know, like, I wish I had gotten the reactions of these guys. I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear the videos. I actually have my, uh, my whatever you call it, volume muted. So I did not hear the reactions of people, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people with mics on. So that was pretty exciting. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and comment down below. And as always, guys, this has been Zach or Nova, and I will see you guys later. No. No, I'm not doing the clapping ever. No, no.